Hi, I'm Joseph Timmons with Zombie Wolf Magazine, and we're here at the Central Coast Guitar Show in Santa Maria, California. And this is our first interview of the day. And I'm here with Mr. Flying Fingers himself, Larry Lehman. And he's going to tell us about his company, what he's doing with guitars, and tell us what he's doing here on the Central Coast. Larry, it's all you now. Good morning. I'm Larry Lehman. I'm a player. I've been playing like 52 years. Uh, I make a product which is a conversion uh, from an arch top jazz guitar into an electric version of that same guitar. It's called Lehman Arch Top Jazz Pickups. And what I do is I take the pickup itself and instead of drilling through the surface of the guitar and destroying the uh, resonance of the guitar, we cantilever that and glue it underneath the pick guard. So what you do when you want to convert a jazz box into an electric version of that is you just attach the entire assembly, which is the pick guard, the pickup on it, and a mounting bracket, slide it in, secure it down, get an input connector, and you're ready to go. You've got an arch top jazz electric guitar at that time. And we've been doing this probably in the neighborhood of about a little over a year now. Do you have one that you can show us right now? Yes, we do. There's a model right here. This is a Gibson model ES165. And this model comes with a standard pickup, which is this model here. If you look at the way it's configured, it's a nice pickup and it's a finger rest device that can slip under just like mine. The only difference is it's got a high mount of a tone control. In my model, we get rid of that. We take uh, thumb wheel controls, we put them on the side of the pick guard and you have volume and you have an added tone. Unlike this model, the tone gives you that treble and needed bass that you want to dial in your sound. My pickup also represents adjustable pull pieces, so if you want to accent your volume on your lower bass strings or your top treble strings, you can adjust that with a, a slot screw. -down. Now, I'm a drummer, I'm not a guitarist, so but I assume that pickups are kind of like a microphone for a guitar. Like I said, I'm not a guitarist. Duh! So, I'm going to just ask a question. Now, I'm assuming there's going to be vibration. Does that go through the pickup as well and cause any uh, bad resonance, or is that completely out of the picture? It's all electrical. This magnetic system in here picks up the, the movement across that field and creates electric energy. So it doesn't really affect much in that area. Uh, the, the natural uh, acoustic quality of the guitar does come out, but you also you activate the pickup as the string goes across it. This type of pickup is called a mini humbucker. You can see it's not a full large size humbucker pickup, it's a mini. It is double coil and it is noise canceling, so it would be a quiet pickup. But the thing that my model is, is it has the individual pull pieces to give you a little more volume on individual strings. In addition, you pick up thumb controls, which are hidden, and it gives you a smooth guard. You, you get rid of this tone control. Access can be made from an input underneath the guard, which could be mounted here. Or if you want a tail pin jack, you can do that, or a rim jack. It's really neat, and if you want to convert it back to acoustic, you just take the guard off, put an old guard back on, and you're back to where you So it doesn't do any it doesn't do any permanent damage to the guitar or changes to the guitar. So if you have several guitars that are very similar, you can switch that out on pretty much any guitar you have exactly. and get that exact tone you want and sound for amplification. Exactly. Now, can can somebody use this on, say, a traditional acoustic guitar that's got the sound hole there? Do you have models uh, like no, that? No, I don't. I have not. I specialized only in the arch top. Now, one of the things I want to point out, we have a new model coming out. It's called Rev3. Rev3 will take what's on the back here, anything that's sizable. Let me get you another model here. I'll show you. Over here. This would be a tort guard. Notice the difference between a dark guard and a tort guard. What I've done to accentuate this, the actual color here is take and make silver on the back of the guard, which allows the light to hit that and flare it out. Another thing on the Rev3 design would be that we'll use the two uh, controls here. This would be volume and also tone. But we're going to eliminate this large terminal block. That will go away because the connector will come off of the pickup, go directly to the volume and tone controls, and the output will go directly out of there. We do not need to have a terminal strip. This was more of a prototype when we started it. Now all you're going to see is a very small number of components mounted on the back of the guard. The weight goes away. Three dollars saved in costs alone, not to include the labor to do all of the work in this. So it's really where, where'd you get the name Mr. Flying Fingers? Hey. Well. I was playing for one of the people uh, at my work one day and he says, you know, your fingers are really flying. I think they should call you Mr. Flying no, Fingers. Just, and so I thought, oh, well, I need a handle. Everybody needs a handle. So, I so that's, 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 that's how it's stuck. That's the story you it's tell you stuck. Yeah, okay. Exactly. All right, that's, okay, <laughs> very good.
Well, from Zombie Wolf Magazine, thank you very much. We're going to have more videos from the Central Coast Guitar Show here in Santa Maria. And this is our first interview of the day. Thank you very thank much. Thank you very much. Mr. Flying up. Fingers. Thank you, sir. Thank you.